China's President Xi Jinping kicked off the party's 19th Congress today with an endurance test for his audience. In a nearly three and a half hour speech in Beijing, Xi laid out a sweeping vision for the next five years. But the gathering of more than 2,300 delegates in the Great Hall of the People was also Xi's center stage moment to tout the achievements of his first term. And after five years in office, Xi is in more command than ever. Just as China lavished praise on Mao years ago, now they're focusing adoring public displays on Xi Jinping. China actually banned cultish hero worship in its constitution. So the state has scrubbed some of these videos from the internet and forbade its media from using the nickname Big Daddy Xi. But that doesn't mean the party isn't showing its president some love. Weeks before the party congress, Beijing opened an exhibition to officially celebrate the accomplishments of the Chinese people over the past five years, with one man to thank. Analysts say that during his first term, Xi has become the most powerful leader since Mao. He sidestepped the collective leadership favored by his predecessors and moved to tightly consolidate his political authority. One way he's done this is by essentially assuming power over every office. Xi started his term holding three standard titles, president, head of the party, and chairman of the Central Military Commission. But he keeps adding to that list. He chairs a growing number of secretive small leading groups that govern everything from economic reforms to state security to foreign affairs. He's tightened that grip even further through his war on corruption. Since 2013, he's punished more than 1.3 million party members, jailing top cadres and expelling a potential successor from the party. Corruption is a monster, monster problem in China. It threatens the entire political system and economy. Xi Jinping knew that. He did not take the advice of Westerners like us to prosecute this campaign using rule of law and transparency. And he's been very smart at keeping potential opponents divided while he's pressed forward. So this is sound and fury at its highest level. Xi may have reshaped the Communist Party, but he hasn't managed to bring down China's soaring debt or bump up its economic growth. To counteract slowing growth at home, he's projected China's economic prowess overseas through his ambitious One Belt, One Road initiative. It's a $1 trillion infrastructure project. Although some governments are resisting Xi's push, the initiative could potentially link close to a third of all the countries in the world, with China at the center. She's also becoming a global leader in fighting climate change. That might seem surprising since China, with its rapid industrialization, emits more carbon dioxide than any other country. But she relies on the support of China's strong middle class. That's about 350 million people. They expect clean air, pure water, and safe food. And they aren't afraid to protest if they don't get it. You shouldn't suggest that Xi Jinping is pushing a liberal model just because he's interested in international trade and investment or a green environment. This is run pursuing these things all with a very neoliberal approach. Over the coming days, top party positions will reshuffle once again, meaning Xi has yet another opportunity to cement not just his power for the next five years, but ultimately his legacy.